On April 28, 2003, the music industry had its biggest change since the introduction of CDs. Apple launched the iTunes Store. Now customers could download their favorite songs for 79p without ever having to leave the comfort of their homes. It ushered in the new digital era of streaming, but now a far greater shift is happening at a much faster rate, which is rocking the music industry to the core. Last week, a song featuring two of the biggest artists on the planet, Drake and The Weeknd, went viral. However, there's just one catch. The song isn't real. Neither Drake nor The Weeknd wrote, recorded or even uttered the lyrics because it was done completely using artificial intelligence. David Ingham is head of media, sports and entertainment at Cognizant and is an expert on streaming models and algorithms. He believes streaming giants and existing copyright law have a lot of catching up to do. I think it's very exciting and provides a lot of of, of opportunities, but again, it's it's a lot of this muddy muddy water of it's so new people don't know how to how to uh, classify it. I think a lot of people and laws have to catch up to this, specifically copyright law, which I think impacts the behavior of the platforms quite significantly. But I think it's it's just interesting this battle of sort of culture um, with with technology. But how are streaming giants going to cope? Can AI music be considered art in its own right? Or does the computer itself hold the credit for the song or the human behind it in putting the instructions? And where is the line drawn between a mimic and a flat out ripoff? I think what has to be tested here in the courts in some way are AIs that are trained on copywritten material. Is the output of that, you know, do a copyright as well? I mean, it is a, a new work in its own right. I think where it gets muddy is if it was trained exclusively on works owned by The Weeknd and Drake, that's a fuzzy area to me. You could look at it a, a totally different way to say, if you've just been listening to, if me as an artist, an emerging artist, just listens to Drake, you know, and The Weeknd songs, and then I write something that's inspired by them, is that kind of what the AI is doing? AI makes songs by analyzing existing music, like Elvis, for instance, and using machine learning algorithms to identify patterns within. Based on these patterns and structures, the AI can generate new music that's similar in style and mood. Aaron Horn is a Grammy-nominated producer and writer and was a co-writer on Doja Cat's hit song, Woman. He says he's optimistic about the role of AI in a fast-changing music industry. I think definitely when people hear about it, it makes them a bit nervous because, you know, people think jobs are going to be lost. But when you investigate it more, you start to look into it, I think it's made me less and less worried and more and more like it's going to be potentially a helpful tool or an exciting way to, to help facilitate new music to be made, even new musical genres or just help my creative process. What will be possible with these new tools? Well, Aaron believes AI opens endless possibilities with music, including bringing artists back from beyond the grave. But I mean, if you're like a massive Elvis fan, you could sort of go and find all a whole load of songs that he hasn't sung and get them to sing it and you know so it's going to be interesting there are going to be loads of bootlegs out there again and there's going to be content appearing and disappearing which I think kind of makes it exciting again and, and leads to a bit of excitement in the space so anyone knows where it could go. Within the next year we could well be seeing AI generated music and AI generated photorealistic music videos Nothing can be sure at this moment, but what is certain is that the music industry is about to be changed forever.